Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our blind playthrough on Legendary Difficulty. Time to defend another ancient site. The Oricalcum Forge is under attack by the Pandorans. That seems to happen from time to time. But we got our uh, C team, as in Gamma team or Charlie team available. Let's just double check what we can uh, give you guys. I got that nice little sniper rifle. Oh, and I remember I'd given everyone some means of uh, subduing enemies. We also got the sanctifier. And I'm wondering, by the way, if I should maybe spent uh, some uh, some funds in the near future once I uh, build everything out in order to make the individual teams like more say themed maybe one fire team one asset team and so on uh, that might be a good that might be a good move for now I think this team here is very well set up. Kyle has a nice little pistol. Incy Vinci does have pistols. Yes, she does. And I tell you what, Incy, you're the perfect guinea pig for the asset handgun. I like that. Giving you just a little bit more hit points. Okay, uh, proficiency with rifles and shotguns. Uh, oh yeah, no, we had assault training here. Okay, fair enough. All of that looks good. Putting some of the mist repeller on to double tap. That wouldn't be too bad. Uh, using the accuracy and extra damage uh, with the PDWs, but equally we haven't tried out Vanish, which I think might be an interesting idea as well, just for scouting purposes. And Weak Spot definitely is is a great option as well. We're starting with Weak Spot. I always like Shredding. It is so powerful. Got a PDW here. That's fine. Vanessa is... Uh, very well equipped. Okay, seems like we're doing okay. Did I miss anything in terms of equipment? Any Anything new that I wanted to try out? That I've never dared to give anyone. Uh, the virus sniper rifle will give to another team. We already got uh, the pistol, so that is fine. And I think that's it for now. Pretty much ready to deploy. And there we are in the Arakalcum Forge. Uh, I don't think that the enemies have landed so far, but we're going to figure that out soon. <laughs> Justin moves up, and since, uh, since this is the exit zone, how about, how about we are putting spiders in the middle of the map. Kyle very much is going to walk up. 
not seeing anything yet. Might as well walk up to here. In Sivensi. Moves up as well. We need uh, her for the war screams. Stephen moves up so everybody gets uh, some willpower back. Moving up. We are overwatching. Good. Anthony Silent Toes is the one who frenzied everyone. Might as well for now go uh, to stand in cover. They can't stop me. Asian cow moves up and Vanessa. Moves up into the middle. And throws a turret. Even more into the middle. Alright, end of turn. I wonder what we're going to fight against. perfect world that we can isolate and stun the enemies so that I can harvest some mutagen or alternatively uh, we could get some more food. Cool, well I can tell you something. Uh, the enemies have arrived. And we have spotted them out. One, two, three. Good. So, in terms of jumping, I would absolutely like to get these guys with a war scream. We'll come to that in a second. For now. Let's paralyze this guy. Okay. Works like a charm. He looks quite paralyzed. Vanessa overwatches, as I mentioned. I think just moving up. Completely out of line of sight. Stupid Triton. Does anyone have... Yeah, Anthony here does have the ability to hand over actions. Very aggressively moving in. Hands over actions. <sighs> and 
We're moving in. I want both of these guys here to continue getting will points. More scouts. I mainly use them as distractions. My turn. Okay, so Asian car moves up. We need more uh, stunts or paralyzations, rather. On the move. Double tap moves over, and I just want to make sure. <sighs> Paralyzed for the next 15 rounds, so that's not going to be an issue. And we're ending the turn. Good, this channel position here where we can basically channel them through. That'll be very helpful for us. Okay, yeah, go and detect the spiders. Good, good idea. Yeah, we need to heal again. We're being unfortunately ambushed from the side. Oh boy. Okay, couple of things here. Number one, move up. I'm just realizing we have two, uh, two heads that provide the willpower. I, re I remember that I changed that so that both the front and the back line will have uh, the ability he's shooting back right no he's not good perfect one two three Kyle continues and we'll take one of them out cool just give the word sure thing one two three just give the word four I think these guys, however, will shoot back or have a chance of shooting back. One. Ah, I should have reloaded first. So, moving over here. I 
tell you what. You basically just reloaded the gun for him. Not bad, not terrible either. We are regaining will points for next turn because we will definitely need them for rehaste. Enemy still active. Here. I'll keep my eyes open. What now? Overwatch and Overwatch. Good. Let's see what else we can do here. My turn. So, hmm. Steven moves up. Hits. That guy disappears. And we're hitting again. Very nice. Move up, hit, that already reduces him to half of his actual um, action points. With this here, he's down to one. And when we are now starting to take actions away from this guy, He only has one action left as well. So the name of the game is Don't Stand Right Next to Him. That way he can't swing at you immediately. Worst thing that could happen is maybe one shot and I'm not even sure if they can shoot for one. There is a siren. I hate sirens. And there are further enemies. Nothing to be concerned yet. That, however, is concerning. More sirens, okay. Damn it, we got mind controlled. I can make a difference. So first of all, everybody is getting frenzied. Secondly, oh shit. You and you. And you all need to take a chill pill.
And then you again. <sighs> Good. Cool. Yeah, the mind control is not good. I think we'll just put a couple more drones out. Ah, uh, that wasn't even three drones. God damn it. Hmm. The pincer itself, apparently, doesn't help us to uh, to tranquilize the creature. I know the shield doesn't, so that does not surprise me. But I wasn't aware about the pincer. One, two. One. I can make a difference. Okay, taking these guys out. Preparing the enemies on the other side, at least a little bit. With War Scream, uh, Steven here can't use his gun, which is good. Spider Drone moves up. And Spider Drone deals damage. haven't broken the mind control unfortunately I do have an idea though what we can do moving up not yet wait for it There we go, mind control broken. Okay. I'm here. Hmm. Just trying to help Steven here. Fortunately, we'll likely get shot at least once. Yeah. 
Yeah, I would absolutely love to onslaught. But we're too far away and it costs two action points. Couldn't dash, by the way, because we don't have enough uh, will points to do all three. Good, end of turn. Okay, he didn't have enough to shoot. That guy, however, did. Which brings us to... Our option to drop a couple more spiders. Let's activate uh, the overwatch. <laughs> she has uh, eaten so many hits by now. If I wouldn't hate her so much, I would almost feel bad for her. One. Two. What? Oh, come on. Unnecessary. Oh boy, so unnecessary. Why? Does this here uh, change mid level? Okay, that was, like I said, unnecessary is potentially the right description. Wow. up continues to paralyze one two moving back Some of our operatives only had two actions. I'm not exhausted, so what exactly is draining the actions? Oh no, uh, I remember we used remote protocol, but I don't remember why Steve... Oh yeah, Steven had Warcry on, uh, on them. Okay, never mind, everything's good. I just forgot the own abilities. Okay, so that is plenty of time here. I'm ready. On the double. We are moving over. Trying to be useful here. Yeah, next turn we need to heal. And this siren is going to turn up soon. 
so we need to deal with it as well. Okay, they really, really, really hate uh, the spiders. I can understand it. Moves up here. Good, we're healing up. Moves up there. One, two. Moves out of line of sight. Cool. Can I hit the mine fragger? That would be good. Okay, leg is disabled. Hmm. Waste of ammo. Unfortunately, no quick load, uh, quick reload. Everybody here is very well stunned. Operative on the move. Asian cow next turn uh, will be rushing in. That could be a good bait. Justin is moving up. I think. I'll just recover this turn. Next turn we can shout for everyone. Okay, end of turn. Oh yeah, that worked out well. First things first, we're going to hit everyone with war. Very good. Ready. She is well covered there. Moving to Peeled. Can I somehow get through here? No, likely not. My turn. Um, yeah, well, moving in further.
Oh, I forgot. Everybody put the friends in. Yep, that might have solved the problem. Good, move into here. I'm here. There. Look, one, two, hit. And move away. Uh, I don't know if he can shoot. Oh, we'll find that We're out in a there. second. Target located. Up a shot. That hurt, didn't it? Eyes peeled. One, no two, three. That hurt, didn't it? Aiming. Four. And we'll continue. Let's just get this over. With. Might as well just. Yep. Enemy still Paralyze active. him completely. Uh, we're going to take an overwatch. I'll try to stop them. Ready to go to work. Craig. Uh, successfully disabled that guy and what's for added almost got, got the got siren it. good how about you take that thank you and NC Vinci being fast and all Moves up for the next turn and gets ready to charge in. And Vanessa really just waits for anything to go wrong. End of turn. Cool. By the way, I just noticed they are stacking, so four points per round are just crazy one two Fully in. Um. Three and four. Okay. My turn. Let's make this happen. Asian cow. One. Two. Three. What's our move? Aiming. One. Two. We even get another uh, free shot That'll out work. of it. Good, which brings Inside. us to over here. One, yeah. two, and that's the end. Nice. We got ourselves, I think, eight or nine. The mass paralysis uh, strategy sucks at the beginning when you need to uh, get it off, but once you have it, it's so valuable, specifically with all of the mutagen that we're getting. 
Okay, we defended successfully. The cost was moderate, but I think we got a few containments here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Wow. So I looked uh, through uh, these things and I uh, I landed on the Gudu. The way that I understand them is each of them has one of two heads, either the ramming head or the venom spitting head. I want a ranged attack because they also do have a tail, either a bleeding tail or a shredding tail. I'll pick the shredding tail, uh, which to me looks good. And then this thing here says it's regenerating, which I found highly interesting. So we're going to test one of them. And maybe one with a ramming head. The head, the ramming head deals shred. And then here we do have bleed. Might as well take one of the Nikashis and see if if bleed is any good. So that's a thousand two hundred mutagen gone. But I feel really good about uh, being able to start building them. My understanding is I've mutated everyone, right? Cool. And Sivinci got a level up. Can't afford uh, Rage Burst or Adrenaline Rush, but she will get there. So yeah, just double checking if if we had mutated everything. The answer is yes. Mutated, 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 and mutated. So we can use all of the other uh, uh, mutagens for something else. Uh, we wanted to move to here these two are still defending uh, Africa and what we're doing is we're continuing to trade we need more tech substantially more tech at this point and once I will get it uh, we will uh, build new uh, facilities, new archaeological facilities. I think we've really traded every single uh, colony here in North America. Yep, you're it's fine. Uh, South Pole really doesn't have a lot of trading potential. We got a combat shield. We're going to use that on one of the heavies. No, that would be the wrong trade. It's funny how it's cyclical. Uh, I know that we were short on food. And now it's really trying to get tech. So, we're going to see if uh, these uh, 
if uh, these new vehicles are going to cause us any problem uh, with our food. We're currently at minus 48. I would like to leave it there and not make it any worse. My hope is we're going to get a lot of tech out of uh, this quadrant here. Nope, two for ten. No bueno. The archaeology labs that we started boy they still take two days and six hours nothing here is happening fast everything's happening like ultra slow what is mid uh, what is happening with inappropriate murphy oh, we're getting there which means we can already get ready. This Helios here uh, will then help flying over we, because we do have a lot of missions in Africa that the Prime team uh, could take care of. It's a bit of a waste, but 2 for 12 is uh, a really good uh, mm, terms of trade for us. So this is Tiamat 9. Tiamat 9 has moved to South uh, America, whilst Tiamat 2, which was uh, the team that we originally had at the South Pole, has now moved all the way up. These are, keep in mind, our original like B team uh, people, Little Green and Co. And I really wanted to level them up to level 8. So they are now going to stay here in the base uh, until hopefully at some point uh, all of the stuff respawns. So yeah, we can't really do much at the South Pole, it's, it's just waiting there. This here is good, well, it's not bad either. Helios 3, that is the African, uh, that is the African uh, team. Now, whilst we do have uh, the resources, eh, not yet, we need one more tag. Good, that was exactly what I was looking for. Moving down here. And now that we do have enough uh, tech, look at Alaska Snow. This is going to be our big archeology span lab.
Fantastic. This is filled up again. So we can trade a little bit. How's Murphy doing? Uh, not yet done. Still getting there. Research complete. Cool. We got a fire resistant vest. Reduces fire damage by half. That's not bad. I think the explosions are better because the enemies aren't using that much fire. But I could see uh, reasons why you would build that fire resistant vest. Two for twelve. We're going to take that trade. Yes, please. Good. The whole Indian uh, area we haven't traded with yet. Okay, so Yeah, I can see you always need a bit of a swing kit because once you are short on a particular resource, you're stuck with uh, not being able to trade them. Okay, that works. Eh. Let's do that trade. I'll wait. Um, there is tech here. Can trade that a little bit later. How long does Murphy still need to be here? Almost there. Thank you, thank you, and we're moving further. Oh, an inappropriate Murphy finally got his level up. We're going to take that, and we're going to take that. Thank you. That's grand. Now, does he need additional weapons? Plus two strength, 
Is there any heavy weapon that he would uh, really benefit from? Potentially not. The minus four willpower here wouldn't be great either. Uh, the I would like to speed him up because he's the one that's typically behind all of the others. Cool. He already has a shield, so he doesn't need uh, the combat shield. Could give him some more strength, though, so that he's not overloaded. Very good. That means, finally, after what appears to be ages, um, we do have Helios 5 and Helios 6 ready to move over here. Living Crystal Quarry will be their first job. And their job really is from now on just to do all of the missions. Like that's number one priority. Two for ten there, and we'll trade. <laughs> yeah, ten for two. Hmm. Not really a good trade. So back to base building. I told you we wanted more archaeology labs, and I either do a huge mistake or it's going to be the most genius idea ever because now we have one two three four so two four six plus the eleven that's seventeen and that would be fifty one per tick fifty per tick sounds pretty good i think we're uh, we're okay when it comes to resources Eight four two, yes, please. Um, yeah, we're continuing to get all of these bases. Research complete. Got another Phoenix Shock Lance. Melee weapon, advanced melee weapon, 160. The 600 shock isn't bad. And here we got the Gudud. So. I would say we're pu putting these guys into areas. Where there are elsewise no further means of protection. Uh, it seems as if uh, they are not hungry. Because it is still at minus 48. Good. So the name of the game will be to get more mutagens. To have these gurus in all of the different locations. Yeah, this is Crook Haven, I can already see that. This might also be Crook Haven. Sanhydrons are a bit weird when it comes to trading. Overall, we got three Pandoran structures, one base infestation. So we should be really, really, really good to go. The newest base, Newfoundland, by the way. 
Satellite uplink, mist repeller, yep. We got everything here, living quarters, cool. So I will try to get a few more bases up and running. But first I need to fix our economy here. really trade something phenomenal here let's move on Okay, can't believe that uh, this becomes so much of a just trading game over time. Speed that up a tiny bit. Two for ten again. That's Crookhaven. Wonderful. Yeah, I think we've traded everything off of them again. Empty, empty, empty. Moving on. Okay, now that we do have one in Mist Haven, how about we put one into Alaska Snow? Okay. We got four bases, uh, each with uh, either a vehicle yeah, or a living vehicle in them. So that's good. Uh, next, let's use the two South American bases and put one there. Unfortunately, can't currently build any more of these guys. Okay. Well, enough of all of the flying around. Manticore 8. Uh, flies there, and where is the other Manticore? I think 6. No, Manticore 4, yep. Okay, well, no surprise that we're being attacked. There is a uh, there is a base nearby. Pandora virus. Until now, the Pandora virus had been a large DNI virus. Suggestion: Pandora virus could have extraterrestrial. Widely widely debated. Analysis incorporate new data out of cryogenic uh, facility. Pandora virus existed on Earth long before current outbreak. Non-terrestrial in origin. 
Uh, Pandora virus is product of design, not evolution. There had always been rumors that maybe the Pandora virus wasn't from Earth. That some alien disease had come down from the stars like a plague from heaven. But now that we finally had the evidence we needed, we realized the truth was more terrible than that. The Pandora virus was alien, yes, but it wasn't a disease. It was a bioweapon. We were not alone, and whatever was out there wanted us dead. None of this had deterred Randolph Symes. He continued his quest, hoping that whatever his great-grandfather had buried in Oglethorpe University's time vault held the answers he needed. We would have to hope that he was right. Mm -hmm. Okay, at least the storyline continues. We need to investigate the Oglethorpe University's time vault, where Randolph Simon Sr. buried a collection of files that might shed light on the history of the Pandora virus. The coordinates have been uploaded to our system. Tobias West sees uh, the research as confirmation what New Jericho was always preaching. Snydrin debates in rage. Uh, but everybody likes us even more than before. Okay. Cool. Love it. Where is that time vault? Damn it. And we're on the way to the other side. I'm not going to fly back for the time vault now. We're going to clean up all of the missions here and then we're flying back over. Need some consistencies in my plans. We can't always flip flop. By the way, wait a second, research. So that's a research that is speeding up Pandoran related research. Yeah, might as well take that. I don't know what constitutes as Pandoran related research, but I would guess is I ha if I had to take a wild guess, something like say Pandoran virus infection would be one. Maybe even poison resistance. Weapon research, certainly not. There's a lot of weapon research. We're not yet starting. There's a second team coming. Yeah, 2 for 10 is not that sexy of a trade. It's okay, but not phenomenal. Good, we're deploying and doing the Ancients, but that is going to happen the next time. It's a pretty long episode, but I still need to find my way around all of this. Like I said, it's just so much micromanagement. But look at the archaeological labs. Very soon, those are going to come through. And then this here is hopefully going to explode and give us just the right momentum to build all of the sweet, sweet weapons. Very soon we can get more of uh, the hardcore weapons, uh, as well as some more of those very, very tasty uh, rocket launchers. So that I see that as a huge benefit. Um, in terms of Haven Info here, by the way, doesn't say uh, we do we're, we we were flying there immediately so I'm only guessing we'll make it in time cool okay guys last antediluvian ruin the next time and then we do have a few hives uh, that are waiting for us uh, three to be correct and a base infestation here Phoenix Delta needs to get uh, up and ready Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy the content, feel free to leave a like and see you in two days. Bye bye.